Is the lighting okay, Nicole? Oh my god, I don't know. No, I think I got it. <laughs> Hi, I'm Mike Boone. Stefan Isaac. I'm Nika Wagner. Anna Feliciano. I'm Omar from Miami, Florida. <laughs> I love weird partnerships. I think they are completely underhyped. Overhyped. Weird partnerships are really underhyped. The weirder the combinations, probably the better for uh, innovation. Overhyped, a thousand percent, a thousand percent. I think what's interesting here is this idea that on the face of it, it looks like two brands, but when you have a brand like Supreme, I don't think that they realize that it is to capture a market that they don't have credentials in. Naming your own price on products, where is that a thing? Actually, underhyped. It is a skill that people have lost through time. I mean, when you go to Europe and you go to other types of marketplaces in Latin America, you can negotiate your own price. People need to practice that. I'm gonna have to say overhyped. It's, it's more work than we need. I don't know. In-store personalization, underhyped. Overhyped. I can go anywhere and do it. Do I really need to put my initials on every little piece of fabric that I own? I'm not gonna lie, it's super cute, but I'm not gonna pay for it. Um, I think it's underhyped. In store personalization, um, underhyped? Everyone's obsessed with themselves, everyone wants their name on things, you know? Like, you know, I'm thinking of getting a little chain with my name. I know what my name is, but you know, it gives you that personal feeling. Ethical shopping. I think it's underhyped, right? I think a lot of companies are getting on board. Overhyped. It's a thing. It's a fad. It'll disappear in a few years. Real ethical shopping is underhyped. Uh, um, commercialized ethical shopping, I think, is way overhyped. Completely underhyped. Athleisure. It is neither over or underhyped. It is everything right now it is all the rage that's my work from home attire and right now i got dressed up for everyone so you better enjoy it at leisure overhyped i'm a runner and i wear running and athletic clothes only when i'm running i feel like culturally it's a signal around class in terms of you are always in the mode of just chilling. And I think it sends those signals, which rubs me a bit the wrong way. Leisure is uh, appropriately hype. I'm the king of athleisure, even in pre-COVID days. Athleisure. Athleisure is a little bit overhyped. I don't use it as an excuse to be messy and sloppy. Subscription boxes. I think they're a little bit overhyped. I just wish they were better at understanding me as a consumer, at least with the experiences I've had. I don't want to smell like a cypress tree all year round. Subscription boxes, they are overhyped because it's like every, everything's a subscription now. So if you have like a new member in your family, you might need that. Like you might not know what do I need to get for a little doggy that I'm getting. Overhyped. I had them for a while. I had the Sephora one. I was a huge fan and I looked forward to it every month. But then I got stuff that I never really needed and then at the end I just canceled it.